Hey, hey, everyone. What about a creative challenge? This time it is about creating and painting a 32 mm bust from a regular figure, a tiny miniature bust. I'm so inspired myself that I did a quick go myself to explain and inspire. Enjoy. As some of you know, I run these quarterly challenges on my Patreon and they aim to spark your creative juices. As my Patreon is quite young, this is the third quarterly challenge that happens now. At the end of the year, the four main winners will be judged by my Patreon community. You can win cool prizes, but the main importance on this is to get more creativity in your miniature painting approaches, be inspired, and also see how others tackled the challenge and get tons of happy painting from it. Sign up for my Patreon as tier Patreon to be part of it too. This challenge runs from April to the end of June 2024. But now back to the topic. This challenge is about creating a 32mm bust from a miniature. 3D prints are allowed too, but no monster or giants in this scale. It's about 32mm figures. The trick is to create a cool character in a fascinating pose inspired by larger busts. The challenge is to decide the right cutout, the number of details, the pose, with or without hands, etc. I think larger busts can be really inspiring for it. Have a look on some that I've painted in the past. Challenge is now to make this even more tiny in 32 millimeters. Or as my cat would say, I will guide you through my workflow and start with my first miniature bust here. I decided to build a Chaos Space Marine from Warhammer 40k. I glued the torso to the legs and then used the saw to cut out the shape of the bust that I want to have. I then decided for a small plinth to pin the bust on, first a squared one, but then a round one as it fits the bust better. As I had no tall round wood piece with that small diameter, I decided to glue two together. Here you can see the round plinth, including the pin already. Unfortunately, I got lost in footage and I will show you how to pin it on the square plinth. Sorry for the confusion. I used Vallejo Putti 401 to fill the gap. Usually it works quite nice from the tip, but if you are a hobby barbarian like I am, I had to use it in the savage way. Give it like half an hour to dry and then you can sand it um, with sandpaper afterwards. Regular sandpaper works nicely for flat surfaces, but for round shapes you can use a sanding foam to not destroy the round shape while sanding. Using a metal pin for pinning, drilling holes with my Dremel. Marking the center of the square one as I will also do to the round one, by just using a pencil. Then it's not just about drilling as the drill would dance on the surface. Important when drilling is to take something pointy and mark your drill hole with a little bit of pressure. The drill will get some grip and you will have a perfect drill hole in the end. I often go with the exact same drill size to have enough grip. Sometimes I must help with force. Bam bam bam. As soon as this was prepared, it was time to build some more. You all know, white reflects light. Black absorbs it. Do you know how to paint black and white? 
Learn to understand. Learn to understand what you paint and why you paint something like it is. You can learn to paint black and white with me in my Etsy shop right now. Step up your game. I don't like ghosts. I like black more than white. With black I can hide in the shadow. Black is no color. White is also not a color. Yellow is a color, but yellow bad suit is stupid. Cut off the pieces here and there and glue something like a chopped off enemy head here. It's 40k in the end. Posing the X arm was a bit difficult as I really cut the original arm into three parts and then glued them back somehow. I need to do some repairs and cleanups there, here and there, and might also hide something under chains, fur and green stuff work. I will do some more cleaning work on him before I start painting him and you can see the progress on my Patreon. I hope I was able to inspire you too. If you want to join up for the challenge, do not hesitate to read the rules and sign up for my Patreon, all linked up below. Sign up for my Patreon as tier Patreon to be part of it too. This challenge runs from April to the end of June 2024. All links below. Roman out, keep on happy painting, bye bye. And thank you for your support. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up thank you from the heart for your support to all my patrons arigato or as my cat would say momo momo or as my cat would say or as my cat would say Or as my cat would say... Cats, they don't say anything if you want them, but if you want them to be quiet, they are not quiet. Okay, last try. Momo. She's confused by the microphone. She's confused by the microphone. Thank you.